So let's talk about the income statement. It's an important financial um, report for a lot of companies, especially if you're investing in a company, you want to know what the income statement is. And you could Google income statement. It's pretty much a snapshot of, of a company's revenue, revenue meaning their sales and, uh, and their expenses. So you can see how much money they made in maybe the past quarter or the past year. So the best way to really understand something is to kind of jump into it and not just listen to somebody or talk about it is actually go into the income statement or the financials and read through them. And I'll try to show you some uh, stuff to look for. So Starbucks, um, let's look at the, their income statement. So you could you could just type in Starbucks income statement. And there's a, a lot of websites that have it. Yahoo, I, I go to a lot. So you can click on their link and it shows you Starbucks income statement, but it's not the full income statement. This is just a snapshot of the most relevant information. So they should just have revenue as one number, sales, which is 13.3 billion. And this is for, for the total year. And it has the same thing for um, 2016 and 2015. So let's remember that number. $13.34 billion. It also shows the expenses. So it's high level, but if you want to look at the actual income statement, and if you're investing in a company or, or you have your own company, looking at the actual detail could be better than just looking at a snapshot because you might get more information. So look at the actual income statement. One way to do it is go to Starbucks website. So go to starbucks.com. And usually in the bottom, uh, you could find something about financial information or investor relations. So here, investor relations. And this has um, some different information. But right here, Starbucks reports Q4 and full year fiscal results. And if you search income statement, nothing comes up because sometimes they use different names. So we can just find it. Okay, this looks like the income statement. They just say statement of earnings, which is the same thing. And I could tell because this has all the information an income statement has. And the three main financial reports are the income statement balance sheet and statement of cash flows. I'm just going to do the income statement today. Just real high level, not to get into too much detail. I could get into more detail if you want. So on Yahoo, let's just pull that back up. Starbucks statement. Doesn't matter if you spell it wrong. Okay, the profit is 13. Okay, the, oh, so got it. The revenue is 22.3 billion. Right here, 22.3 billion. Okay. And this is the year ended. You can also, they also show the the quarter ended, so it's just the prior three months. So you could look at, um, in, in those two, two, those two type of ways, depending on what information you need. But we'll just go to the year ended, and it also breaks it down by um, different segments, like this: just the U.S. stores, just the Asia America, Asian stores, just the European stores. So we'll look at the total company. So this has all the stores in it. So the, so the beginning of any income statement is the revenue. Revenue is sales. So this is, the company operated stores had $17.6 billion in revenue. It's a big number, right? Because these numbers are millions. You can see they usually have it. Sometimes it's in thousands if it's a smaller company, but this has it in millions. So... 
Every time you buy coffee, it's going to go into these numbers. So your coffee purchases are part of this. And they also have licensed stores. So I guess they licensed their brand to other other businesses. And that was uh, $2.3 billion. And CPG food service, food service and other. Not exactly sure that it, what that is. Uh, you don't have to know the details in every single thing. Once... You can, but uh, I think just having a good educated knowledge of it to make a decision is all you need. We could obviously look this stuff up, but um, the total revenues, the total sales for the past year at Starbucks were $22.4 billion. It's a lot of money, right? And then after the revenue of an income statement, they show expenses. So they break it down... Every in different ways, but it's they have cost of sales, including occupancy costs. And you can look at these footnotes if you want. It's a little more detail than this uh, video has. And I could go into the detail in a future video, but I'm just trying to keep it high level. So the cost of sales, so expenses relating to, um, I guess, their coffee sales is $9 billion. And then they have store operating expenses. So maybe in each store, they um, are allocating the $6.5 billion. So like the store obviously has, they have to buy cups, they have to buy coffee, they have to buy uh, cleaning products, tissues, all that stuff. I, I think, I'm not 100%, I need to look into this, but I think they may mean cost of sales is more on the corporate level. And since they break out the, the store level here, because Starbucks is a giant company and they have a large corporate office and below that are the individual stores that they own. And other operating expenses. And you could always contact Starbucks or any company and ask like, what is other? Because other is kind of like, uh, a term that um, the IRS looks at, like, oh, when people try to hide things, they use the word other, like other expenses, other revenue, other something. So what goes into other? And they may tell you that in this report somewhere. They might explain it. But uh, let's just keep it basic and just accept it the way it is. So $553 million in other expenses. That's for the entire year, ending October 1st. They have depreciation and amortization expenses, which uh, I don't want to go into too much detail on that in this video, but that's more non-cash items. And you could Google those terms, because when you buy cups and you buy coffee, you're, it's actually, you're, out, you're spending cash, obviously, to get it. Depreciation is non-cash, but that still goes into, the, into here. It's more of an accounting uh, term, and that's a billion dollars depreciation. General and admin expenses, that's another 1.4 billion. Restructuring and impairments, you can look read uh, footnote three, but it's going to be more confusing if I go through the footnotes. And you tend to need a lot more information to, to try to understand what all the detail is. But we'll just take it as it is. So $18.6 billion in expenses. And they, they also have an income line here. I, I, don't, I haven't seen this too often. Income from equity investees. So I guess that's not part of revenue. It's a little outside of it, but it's inside the income statement. So if you take the 22 minus the 18, then you probably have to add the 391. And that gets you $4.1 billion of operating income. So after all expenses, that's how much money they have left over. All exp expenses meaning to, to, to run the stores, to run their business. But there's other expenses, which you'll see right here. There's um, 
interest expense, and they also have some interest income. And that's probably on debt. So when they when when you take a loan from a bank, which they might have taken a loan from a bank, or they might have got debt through other means like selling bonds, they have to pay interest on that debt, and that's gonna go onto the income statement because that is an expense. But that's not um, part of the part of the business of Starbucks. That's just part, that's that's outside of their business. But they that's they still owe that money, and that is um, they have. Income more than expenses, which is interesting. And you could read in the footnote, maybe they'll explain why in number four. Included in interest income and other is a gain on sale from the Singapore operation. So they actually had a gain. So that's why there's a interest income. So four point three billion it went up. It usually wouldn't go up, but four point three billion dollars after um the interest and now every business has to pay income tax and they paid 1.4 billion of income tax so that's probably like 30 percent or maybe a little less of their income so after net earnings after um, interest and and taxes is 2.9 billion so that's their bottom line. After a full year, they earn $2.9 billion. And on a per share basis, because they sell stock, so the, each shareholder, because a shareholder is an owner of the company, like you can own Starbucks if you want, if you buy shares. So each shareholder is, is earning $2. I mean, they're not going to get the $2. It looks like the dividend is a dollar, so they're getting a dollar. And the rest Starbucks keeps. So that's kind of a high level income statement. I hope you learned a little bit. And I could get into more detail. I just thought it'd be fun to do this video. Maybe I'll do the balance sheet next time. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or thoughts on this.